it's Denise and I want to welcome you to planning on aisle 64. Today I want to show you my setup and my first week of decorating in my Inkwell Press watercolor hexagon classic. Let's get started. As you can see here, I put my particulars on the very first page and then I wrote in my important dates. I started with January, of course, and I have a lot going on this month, so I just tried to write them in. And one of the things that I tried to do was put the date first and then whatever the event was so I could get them in chronological order. And as things come up ahead, I'm just putting in sticky notes for the time being because what I don't want to happen is to have my dates all helter-skelter and not in chronological order. So you can see where I've got pretty much the first semester of the year planned out to a certain degree. Over here I've got this cute little paper clip that came in one of my Scarlet Line uh, Planner Society kits and if you jump on over to my blog, I'll give you all the particulars as to where those came from. Now this is a really important page. Here you can see the front of that um, paper clip, but as I was saying, this is a really important page. And these, these are the pages that are going to keep me on track for the year. And one of the things that we do with the Inkwell Press is set up a mission statement or an inspirational focus for the year. And my focus is to remember that my success is determined by my daily routine. And then I've chosen four words to kind of center my life around as I move through the year, and particularly the first quarter of the year. So again, my success is determined by my daily routine, which is a reminder that the things I do each day will move me to the completion of my goals. And in our goal category, we've got personal, social, financial, health, home, and then dreaming big. So for personal, one of the things I'm looking forward to doing is retiring in July. I also want to work on my manuscript, hashtag Heart Matters, and then take more vacations, one that I may take by myself, and then one that I take with myself and my husband, Will. So there's my personal goals. And then social, I want to have lunch with friends or family at least once a month or more. I want to grow my blog and YouTube channel to 1,000 subscribers or more. And then, I also want to make sure that I'm blogging or shooting video at least four times a month. Now, the Plan With Me videos aren't quite as um, difficult for me to get to because I do those weekly, but I've been not paying as much attention to my blog as I should, so that's one of the things that I want to make sure I rectify for this year. I also have some other social goals, and one of the things that I do is I try to care for the community. I am a community health nurse, and so some of the things that I want to do with my sorority, kind of Phi, that I'll be doing in the social realm is two safe sleep classes. And safe sleep or safe slumber has to do with how you put your baby down and to try to reduce the incidences of uh, sudden infant death syndrome or SIDS or suffocation of the baby by other things in the bed, that kind of thing. Car Seat Safety is another program, and then the Black Barbershop Health Initiative or the Black Barbershop Outreach is something else that I do. So I'm reminding myself that I want to do less and focus more on the things that I do. So trust me, when I have these listed as two safe sleeps, two car seat safeties, and one barbershop outreach, this is less on a scale of the things that I normally try to get involved with. For financial, I want to save $10,000 by May, and I know that's a lofty goal, but that's my goal, and it's probably also part of my dreaming big. But anyway, I want to save $10,000 by May. I want to pay off Visa 1 and Visa 2 um, in one year, and then I want to work from a zero-based budget. So those are my top three 
goal categories here. And then down here, my health, my cholesterol level is ridiculous, and so I really want to work on getting my cholesterol below 200. I need to lose 40 pounds. I want to start doing my Pilates exercises at least three times a week, and then hydrate myself, drinking those eight glasses of water a day. I just have not been very good about that, so I want to get to that. As far as home, I really want to work on decluttering and deep cleaning the house. I'm going to focus on one room a month and just really try to clear out some things because I've just got way too much stuff. Now, my husband has another word for it, but I'm going to be nice and say I've got way too much stuff. I want to find some curtains for the kitchen, and I know that seems like a simple goal, but I kind of like looking out the window. <clears throat> Excuse me. I kind of like looking out the window. I've got Venetian blinds up and no curtains, and I really like that look. But I was thinking maybe I might find some curtains this year to kind of soften it just a bit. And then I want to get the dining room painted. And I got this special paint that you have to kind of put on two coats and it gives some kind of a, a nubby effect on the wall. So I decided I don't think that's something that I want to do myself. I think I'm going to hire it out. So that's just on my list. And then my dreaming big. My dreaming big is that I will complete my hashtag Heart Matters manuscript. I will pay off my car in one year. Yeah, that's a big goal. And then I'll earn $1,000 a month on my blog from blogging and YouTube and things like that. And then th that I will continue to grow my blog and YouTube channel. So those are the goals that I've set for the year. And then for this page, this has been a big page of discussion in my Inkwell Press uh, community. People have been wanting to know, what are you doing with this page? How have you filled it out? And one of the things that Tanya suggested was either to do it in pencil and maybe just try one quarter at a time. And I decided just to go with three months. And I looked at one of the areas for each of my yearly focus goals and brought them over here. So for my personal goal, I broke it down to I just put in cruise and SSI, meaning Social Security. And what I want to do here is that I want to take a cruise and I'm going to do one with my husband in January. And then I want to start the process with the Social Security office that leads up to retirement. Not quite sure what that process is just yet, but I'm going to be working on it. I'm going to complete my video ROI course that I signed up for last year and really didn't do much with. And that is part of my dreaming big because the things I learned in that course will help me to make better videos and um, that kind of thing. So I've got that down. I want to work on a grant for Kaida Phi Sorority as far as to develop some um, financial resources so that we can do some of the community programs that we want to do regarding safe sleep and breastfeeding and car seat safety and that kind of thing as well as lunching with friends and then for home the kitchen and my home office and the dining room are the three rooms that I've got on deck for the first quarter and then for financial again I'm going to be working toward my zero base budget and I'm going to try to do a no spend January we'll see how that works out and then go on a low-fat, low-cholesterol diet and stick to that for three months and see how that affects my cholesterol level. So this is what I've got going on goal-wise for the first quarter. Here are my big goals and my focus for the year. This is what I plan to try to achieve by the first quarter and I can check in and see where I'm at with that. Flipping ahead, we've got the 2016 calendar. Here's a quote from Helen Keller that life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. And I plan to make sure it's an adventure this year. This is my monthly calendar for January. And as you can see, I don't do a lot of decorating on this page. I just use it as a brain dump. And as for whatever's going on for the month, and then I take the things from here and then put them on my weekly calendar. I tend to use Sunday evening as my time to sit down and plan for the week. And then this is a very important page. This is my January mission board and my notes and rambling page. So let's talk about what I've got going on here. First of all, I like for my mission board to be very visual. The other thing to tell the truth of it is that I was a little... Um, 
kind of afraid to actually write in these little hexagons because my writing I didn't think was the best so I'm trying to love my handwriting but in the meantime I put a lot of visual things to kind of help keep me focused. This top box has to do with um, me time and one of the things that I wanted to remind myself of was just to spend some time taking care of myself. So I clipped this little coupon or something from an Ulta ad and it just says hair, skin, and brows. But one of the things that I'm going to do is um, get a brow wax. But I also plan to get a facial. Just something that's just, I don't know, just kind of fun and relaxing. Something just for me. Over here in the health category, I plan to start my exercising again. So this is a lady that's doing some Pilates. And so that's a reminder. Here I work for IPFW. And I have two courses that I have to manage. And so I put this reminder here. One of the things that I realized was when I set my goals up back here was I didn't have any work goals at all. And then I realized, oh, I'm planning on retirement. So I really didn't think about setting any work goals, but I got to get through the semester. So I make sure that I put a spot on here for IPFW and the courses that I'm concerned about. This little reminder here, I cut this out from an Office Depot ad, but it's just a reminder to deep clean my office for the month of January, my home office, and probably should start at my work office so that when I'm actually ready to walk out of there, it doesn't take me two weeks to clean it up. And then here's the big R budget. I'm working on a retirement budget. And I put this on here with this big R to remind myself of that, and you should see that moving forward every month. This little reference, Dreaming Big, is referring me back to my hashtag Heart Matters Manuscript. My Makeup on Aisle 64 YouTube channel and blog. And this is to remind myself to write the blogs as well as shoot the video. Shooting video is so much fun. Writing the blogs is a little bit more work. So I'm trying to remind myself I've got to do both. I want to try to save $1,000 a month so that I can hit that $10,000 goal, which of course I won't hit $10,000 saving $1,000 a month by May, but at least I'll be making my way there. And this little reminder, do less with more focus. This is actually one of my IWP sisters, Kala Balish's mission statement. And I thought, that's exactly what I was trying to get to. She said it in these few words what I wanted to say. So I borrowed it and I popped it in right here and then I gave her credit for it so that I don't forget where I got it from. But this is what I want to do. I want to do less with more focus. And then over here is the notes and ramblings page. And here I've got another really cute paper clip that I got from my um, Planner Society kit. And this is just a little card that came in one of my Planner Society kits. It's called, the, this is the Planner Society Girl. And I just thought she was so cute. And I like putting little note cards in here like this because I can write little notes on the back of them or I can put things underneath here if I need to. So this year I will achieve my goals and I will focus, plan, execute, and care. My four words for the year. Focus plan, execute, and care. And one of the things that I really want to do is stay organized and on top of my grading. Sometimes I get behind and then it's maybe a couple of weeks before I get assignments back to the students and they don't like that. And by the time they get the grade on it, they're over it. So I really want to try to change that this time. And I've given myself a deadline by January 31st. All of the assignments from the first two weeks of the semester have got to be graded. And one of the things I'm going to do is put in weekly time on my calendar set aside specifically for grading. Not just weekly time, but daily time. So on Mondays and Tuesdays, I'm going to use those two days for grading and specific times on, in that day to set aside for that. Over here, I've got uh, my 418 and 461 projects, which those are my two courses, and I'm reminding myself to look at my Get to Work book because in that planner is where I've got the projects broken down as to all the different things that I need to do for those two courses. I'm working on an Etsy 101 blog, and so I'm reminding myself to get that done this month. 
And then for my videos, I've got four ideas of different videos that I want to work on. Brought down the word care here just as a reminder to myself. And then in regards to my financial goals, I'm setting my budget for three months out. And then one of the personal goals, which wasn't over there, but I got to get it done, is that I got to get the binding on my grandson's quilt. Every time he comes here to visit, he sleeps under it, but I can't let him take it home because I don't have the binding on it. So my goal is to start getting that binding on this week so that at least within the next couple of weeks, I can get that quilt in the mail to him. And then I heard that there's another planner group called Gen Plans Get Organized. It's a Facebook group. So I thought I would check it out because organization is something I really want to focus on. And this planner is going to help me do that. Notes over here to myself. Save $1,000 a month. Check what I've got in the credit union. Look about transferring some sums from here to there. And then set up the February budget. But then I decided to set the budget up for three months. And then in regards to retirement, get that retirement budget set up and talk to our retirement advisor. Down here are just two little notes that I put in that I want to make sure I'm doing my Pilates and lunching with friends. So those are just two notes that I added just as reminders for myself. So there's my January mission board and just little notes and ramblings and really that's about what this page turns out to be because I find that sometimes I do need to make notes about what I've got here and this helps me to stay focused so we'll see how that goes. Now this is my first week in the planner that I decorated and I, I'm moving from the Erin Condren Life Planner to this Inkwell Press and the vertical layouts are similar but they're just different enough that I did have to adjust my style of decorating. I really like the columns and I like to be able to see the demarcations between the columns so this is the format that I went with my first week. So on Monday I just gave myself a reminder to be the best version of myself and not worry about other people and then listed out some of the things that I needed to be concerned about for this week. I'm going to an educational conference January uh, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. And so the time that I would normally have in the office to take care of some things for the new semester, I won't have. So that means I've got to get things done this week so I can hit the ground running when I get back. So Tuesday, I will just focus on the things that I started on Monday. And then Wednesday, I've really got to start looking at my email to check out any correspondence from my preceptors and start working on the clinical schedule, which really takes quite a bit of time to do. This little note, this is my story, came from one of my Reset Girl kits. And then there's a reminder here that I need to pick up the poster. My uh, colleague and I have entered a poster at this educational conference. And I've taken it to Kinko's for printing and I'll need to pick it up on Wednesday the 30th so that we have it to take with us when we go to the conference on Sunday. Thursday, I reminded myself of what my four words are for the year. Focus, plan, execute, and care. And of course, Thursday is New Year's Eve. So my husband and I will celebrate uh, the new year. We will ring it in probably with some wine and some good food and maybe a few friends. I'll also get my hair done that morning so that I'm all set for the day. And then I normally watch Scandal and How to Get Away with Murder, but of course it won't be on at that time. But we may be home in time enough to turn the TV on and watch the ball drop. So that's New Year's Eve. And I picked up this little clock and some other things in a... Um, little New Year's Day celebration uh, sticker collection that I got at Hobby Lobby. New Year's Day, we always go over to my cousins for dinner and then again I'm reminding myself to be kind, be focused, and to be caring. And then Saturday, um, I gotta make sure that the budget is all set and then I'll shoot any plan with me videos that I need to get shot because Sunday I'm gonna be at the airport and going to my conference. I usually watch Madam Secretary Sunday night, but I don't think I'm going to get the opportunity to do that on January 3rd. And this is just little notes that I got in one of my um, Scarlet Line Planner Society kits and I just kind of popped it over here so that I could 
add any notes that I needed. And then as you know, I like to hide little notes underneath there also. So this is my first layout for December 28th through January 3rd in my new planner. And I find that I really do like it. One of the things that I really like is I like the soft colors. I really like the soft colors. They're not distracting. And the little boxes that typically are at the bottom, like these, I can cover up or not. So for this particular layout, I covered it up with some paper that came in my kit and then uh, just added a few embellishments here and there. So here you have it. This is my planner setup and then my first week of decorating in my Inkwell Press watercolor hexagon classic. I hope you will join me again next week.